In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a programming board to your flight chair. And the reason for that, if you go to your chair and you press Control L, you're going to see all the links that are kind of used by default. Uh, as you can see, our capacity for links is 10, and we're already using six of those. So instead of running out of links here, we're going to connect our programming board to the chair so we can then set up further scripts in the programming board without using up all of our links. So let's go into build mode, grab our link tool, which is number six here, and let's link the programming board to our switch. But we have to do this in the right order because the switch is gonna be what toggles our programming board on and off and we want it to, to, it to do it when we get in the chair. So let's link from our chair to the manual switch. And we wanna make sure the arrows are going that way from the chair to the switch, and then from the switch to the board. So as you can see, all of our links are going the correct way. Now, when we turn on the switch, it's gonna activate our board. And when we turn off the switch, it turns off the board. Now we gotta tell the chair, we gotta say, hey, when we sit in this, what exactly is gonna happen? We want it to start with enabling this switch. So let's press Control L on the chair, and let's look for that link that was just added, slot seven. This is the one that was just added, and we're gonna call that, uh, we'll call it PB for programming board switch. And we have to add something to tell it when to start and stop. So if you remember from our other videos, we found this in the codex. So I'm gonna hit apply. Let's press F1. Let's look up switch, which I already looked up, but you could type it in there. And this has activate and deactivate. That's what we're going to use. So control L, unit. And we're going to add a start filter to unit. There's already by default a start and stop. These are default auto-generated um, scripts. So we're going to add a new one just to kind of separate it from those. You could add it in here, but I like to keep things separate for the sake of organization. So let's add two filters. We're gonna add a start and a stop filter. Start and a stop filter. So in start, we're going to add, we're going to write PB switch dot activate. So that means when the chair starts, when you get in the chair, it's going to activate that switch. And we're going to do the same thing for the stop. So it tells it to turn off PB switch dot deactivate. Hit apply. And now when you sit in your chair, or you see that lit up right there? That means the switch was activated when we sat in it, when we sat in the chair, uh, which activated the board. So anything we have running or linked to the board right now would, would start or initiate as if the board was, was active. So now let's get out of the chair. And if you noticed, the switch turned off, which in turn turned off the board. I'm going to leave it at that for this video uh, to, because I'd like to keep it short. But in the next video, we're going to move our script to the programming board and elaborate on it a little bit.